Hi there, welcome back to Natural Beauty with Melanie. Today I am going to show you a few different sunscreens that I'm going to be using for the summer that I've been using for a few weeks now and um, just give you my thoughts and show you how the application is and everything. So the first one I'm going to do is the Coco Kind Daily SPF. It is a sunscreen lotion with broad spectrum SPF 32. It has protection against all of the lights, UVA, UVB, and blue light. Um, its active ingredient is 21% zinc oxide. So it is 1.7 ounces. And this is one of the thicker sunscreens that I'm using. So I will do the two finger method. Um, and so let me just show you though, like that's how it comes out. Awkward. The light's not good. Okay, so I have my two fingers worth, and now I'm just going to show you how it applies on the skin. Um, I just did my full skincare routine, and I finished with a face oil. I don't actually like, even though I don't usually put this much on. Um, I don't think I, I don't usually measure it out like to the two finger method, but I know that that's recommended and I figured I should do the recommended on this video or else who knows what could happen on social media. It could be like Gwyneth Paltrow who got really in trouble for her sunscreen application advice. All right. They do say to take it down to the neck. I think the two fingers is including the neck. I could be totally wrong, the ears maybe. So, you can see my skin tone is pretty fair. I have like Irish European descent, um, but not super, super pale. So, and I have like a little tan going on. Um, I cannot speak to how it is on darker skin tones. I know Coco Kind has had a lot of um, advertisements like and stuff or stuff on Instagram about darker skin tones and people using it and being happy. And I have heard some people say that they have experienced a white cast in comments. So, you know, I can only speak from my experience. Um, hopefully you can see that I have no white cast and it absorbs really well on my skin. And I don't know how it looks to you. Again, I have an oil underneath, but I find it doesn't like it. I guess maybe I look a little shiny right now, but I feel like it just leaves. I don't feel shiny when I, you know, once it's in and everything just looks sort of matte to me and like just regular. Um, so I have been using it a few weeks and I am so happy with it. Um, it's definitely might be like, it might be so good to the fact that I don't really explore other sunscreens because it works really well. Um, and it just absorbs well. And I know it's very affordable. Um, I'm going to get back to you with the price later in the video, but, um, it's just excellent. I'm so happy with it. It does. My mom said she thought it had like a little bit of a chalky scent, but I just feel like it's unscented or if it does have any scent, it's just like super subtle and pleasant. So that's how the Coco Kind sunscreen goes on. And, um, next up we will do a different sunscreen. Hi there. Now we are going to talk about the next sunscreen that I've been using so far this summer, which is the Babo Botanicals Daily Sheer Tinted Sunscreen. It's extra sensitive for face, SPF 30. <clears throat> this is what it looks like. It's 1.7 fluid ounces, 100% mineral active ingredients, sea buckthorn and hyaluronic acid, lightweight and non-greasy and broad spectrum SPF 30. So the difference between this and the Coco Kind is this one is much more liquidy. When you shake it, you can hear it in here. Whereas the Coco Kind, you know, you saw I could apply it to my fingers. This one, I can't do the finger method. It would just be like dripping. So um, I'm just gonna put some here to give you an idea. I think that, oh, it's already coming out. So this is what this, is what this looks like. As you can see, like I said, it's a lot more liquidy than the Coco Kind. And of course, it's tinted. So I'm going to apply it and then I will do you closer to, you can see 
even though it's a different um, consistency and this one's tinted, I really, I don't know, I don't know which one I prefer so far. Um, you know, my mom is using both and she said she really likes this one because it's like a, a like foundation with SPF. Um, so I do recommend both. And if you have a preference for tinted, you might like this. And if you have a preference for untinted, you might like the Coco Kind. So I'll put some more on just to demonstrate to you that I really do not get any white cast whatsoever with this. Um, I did look, I got this off Amazon and I didn't see any options for any different color. So, so this is what my face looks like. So as you can see, there's no white cast. So I'm a big fan of this one too. Next up, I'll show you another option from Babo. We'll go from there. Hi, how are you? I am here now to talk about the Babo Botanicals Tinted Face Mineral Sunscreen Stick, which is fragrance free and SPF 50. Um, it is 100% zinc as an active ingredient, water and sweat resistant for 80 minutes, lightweight and non-greasy, and broad spectrum SPF 50. Again, this is natural glow. And it just says apply liberally to exposed areas 15 minutes before sun exposure, reapply at least every two hours or after, after 80 minutes of swimming or, or sweating or immediately after towel drying. The active ingredient is zinc oxide at 19.7%. I am actually in Cape Cod now on vacation, so I have a different filming background. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna apply this on my face. I'm trying to get up close. You can barely even see it. I mean, I can't even see it, <laughs> so goes on really easily and as hopefully you can see there's nothing white about it. You can kind of see maybe on my nose there's some brown. So I'm just going to blend that in. This seems like it'd be really good um, if you like playing a sport or maybe you're outside at the beach and you're um, just want to easily apply it on. I have found a lot of sticks. Um, I used to use Baby Gannix on the kids and stuff. And um, I used to use other types of sticks and I felt like they didn't glide on easily. They were like, they were dry and chalky and everything. And this is like, as you could see, a great um, improvement, I think. And I love the, the tint and everything. And it has like just a nice, if I had to like, almost like a little light, like little chocolate scent sort of. So that is the Babo Botanicals Tinted Face Mineral Sunscreen Stick and SPF 50. And as you can see, no white cast whatsoever and not shiny or anything like that. And then I got this recent um, Suntegrity Mineral Sun Stick Sport Water Resistant 80 Minutes Broad Spectrum SPF 30. Um, and I have not even tried this yet. The active ingredient is zinc oxide 20%. So I'm just gonna apply some on the front of my hands just so we can see how it looks. It does have like a little citrus scent. That's what it looks like. So I'm, gonna, I'm like in a weird position here since I'm on vacation. I don't have the same setup. So I'm crouching a little bit. <laughs> All right. I see minimal white on my top of my hands. And I can put some on over the babo. Let's just see how that does if we do it on the face. It spreads really easily. So 
So I don't actually even know. I'll check to see if it's meant for the face as well. Middle Sun Stick Sport doesn't say. But um, you can see there's no white cast from that either. So between the Coco Kind and the Babo Botanical Scented Sunscreen for the Face um, Liquid, and then the Babo Botanical Stick and the Suntegrity Mineral Stick, I am not having any white cast issues, which is great because um, if you've used mineral sunscreen over the years, you know that there used to be white cast issues with a lot of things. So next up, I'll give you some information, cost information on all these products and where you can find them. All right, so I wanted to just wrap this up, give you the facts and some information, and I uh, just felt like sitting outside to do it since I'm on vacation right now. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna be consulting my notes here. For the Babo Botanicals sunscreen, which is the tinted one, liquid SPF 30, I got it on Amazon. It was $16.89 for these 1.7 fluid ounces or 50 milliliters and it is 6% titanium dioxide and the zinc oxide is also 6%. Um, so they have another one of these, which is a 40 SPF with no tint for the face. That's 15.93 and 1.7 ounces and it's also titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. And just so you know, if you have a flexible spending account or a health savings account, um, I was able to use mine for this and the other Babo Botanical items. So that's just something to keep in mind. So that's that. And the stick is 0.6 ounces from Babo Botanical. I also got this on Amazon. It was 15, I'm sorry, 14.23. Zinc oxide, 19.7%. So, for Coco Kind, this is 1.7 ounces for, or 48 grams for 24. So comparatively, this one's 24 and the Babo Botanicals one for the same amount of ounces is 16.89. So this is more affordable and it has a tint. Um, so the Coco Kind, it's non-nano zinc oxide, blue phytoplankton and microalgae. Those are some of the main ingredients. And it's also supposed to help, it's advertised to also help protect from blue light from like your screens and devices as well. And the Suntegrity I got actually as a gift with purchase from the Detox Market, my recent gift with purchase. Um, but on Detox Market, it's $22. It has non-nano zinc oxide. Some of the main ingredients are coconut oil, shea butter, cocoa seed butter, and sweet orange essential oil is what gives it that scent. And they actually did say you can use it for face, hands, chest, and shoulder. They said best for, so basically you can use it everywhere. So that's everything for the sunscreens. These are what I'm gonna be using on my face um, for the summer. I don't have a problem putting non-face sunscreens on my face. I don't tend to break out and stuff, but I kind of wanted to have some specific ones for the face, especially on days I'm not going to the beach or something and I'm just working from home and like might go out for a walk during the day or even I wear it every day now just to be safe because I find myself outside unexpectedly at times with the kids and everything so I'd rather just have it on each day and I know it's supposed to be so beneficial to help with aging and um you know like any um discoloration and stuff like that that you have like brown spots and everything so and there's a lot of great skin ingredients um in these products so um yeah let me know what your sunscreen choice is for this summer if you're trying different ones if you've tried some and you weren't a big fan um, I'd love to read your comments so please give the video a thumbs up if you found it helpful or you enjoyed it and um, please hit the subscribe button so you'll be alerted for when the next video is coming out thanks bye